days ago here in Brasilia, Aguido Rodriguez header gave Argentina victory over Uruguay. And now the Albi Celeste are up against Paraguay, aiming to book their place in the quarterfinals. Good evening. Welcome back to the Estadio Nacional Mane Garincha for more Group A action in the 2021 Copa America. Chile's 1-1 draw with Uruguay a little earlier means either one of these two sides can go top of the group with victory and make certain of their place in the last day with two match days to spare. We're here back in Brasilia where this year's Copa America started where Brazil beat Venezuela on the opening night and where Argentina have already played one game. Despite rumours to the contrary, Lionel Messi starts for Argentina tonight. Lionel Scaloni's side look to extend their unbeaten run against an opponent that in the Copa America at least they've utterly dominated. We'll get into those numbers in a while. But we'll take a look at how the teams will line up first. For Argentina, there's six changes from the team that won 1-0 here against Uruguay. And then Emi Martinez remains in goal. Noel Molina keeps his place at right back. So too Christian Romero in the middle. But Herman Pacella and Nicolas Tagliafico come back into the back four. Leandro Paredes returns in midfield to partner Guido Rodriguez. Lionel Messi starts. But Angel Di Maria and Papu Gomez come into the lineup, and so too Sergio Aguero making his 99th appearance for Argentina tonight. Another big, big milestone in terms of appearance. Lionel Messi makes his 147th appearance for the Albi Celeste, drawing level with his old pal Javier Mascherano at the top of the all time record books for Argentina. A big night for Messi. And Argentina will, as ever, be looking to their inspirational captain to try and pick up another three points here against Paraguay. The likes of Lautaro Martinez, Marcos Acuna, Rodrigo Paul, who all started against Uruguay, they're available on the bench. There's a few injury absentees, Giovanni Lo Celso and Nico Gonzalez the two main ones from last week. But this is how Paraguay will line up. Just the one change for them from that 3-1 win over Bolivia. Anthony Silva remains in goal. It's an unchanged back four. Alberto Espinola, Gustavo Gomez, Junior Alonso and Santiago Asamendia. In midfield is the one change. Andres Cubas, who used to play under 20 football for Argentina, starts in central midfield with Robert Pires de Mota, Alejandro Romero Gamarra, Miguel Almiron, Angel Romero behind number nine, Gabriel Avilos. Plenty of Argentine connections in the 11. As I mentioned, Cubas born in Argentina is not the only one. And it's only right back Alberto Espinola who hasn't played, spent some time of his career in Argentina. Kaku Romero Gamara, the star of the game really against Bolivia got them back on level terms and was absolutely instrumental in midfield. He used to play as well for Argentina under 20s as he came through at Huracan. And he created 10 chances against Bolivia, the most of any player in the Copa America so far, level with Neymar despite playing one game less. Eduardo Berizzo, the Argentine coach of Paraguay, more or less sticking with what he had after a decent performance against Bolivia, despite going behind to an early penalty, responded very well. And Paraguay will certainly be coming into this one with a bit of confidence, despite some poor form prior to that victory over Bolivia. the first win in five, but they have been drawing a lot of games, Paraguay. We've had six rounds of World Cup qualifying in South America. Paraguay have only lost once, and that was to Brazil, but they have drawn four games. And a pattern that's 
not unfamiliar for Paraguay when you look at the recent history as well. You go back to when they reached the final of this competition in 2011. Managed to get to the final without winning a game. Three draws in the groups and then kept picking up draws and winning on penalties to get there. So that's the kind of team very difficult to beat that Paraguay have proved over the years. Argentina have found that in recent times as well. Unbeaten in four against Argentina, Paraguay. But this is how the group looks. That draw earlier between Uruguay and Chile sees Chile at the top of the group on five points, Argentina on four, Paraguay on three, Uruguay picking up their first point of the tournament. They play Bolivia next, so they'll be hoping that with a win over Bolivia, they'll at least be guaranteed of a place in the last eight, despite Uruguay really struggling. But for Argentina and Paraguay, as you can see from the table, with Bolivia there on zero points, it's a great opportunity with those two match days still to play. Argentina with one game to left to play after this one. Paraguay with two. It's a great opportunity very early in the group stage to book their place in the last eight and then just try and see how far up, how high they can finish. Remember, that could also be quite important because everyone basically wants to avoid Brazil. Brazil look odds on certs to win Group B. So if you can finish in the top two, of Group A, then you'll be on the opposite side of the draw to Brazil, and therefore the earliest you'd be able to play them is the final. So there's an incentive there as well here in this group to finish up higher as possible. Glorious evening then in Brasilia. Uruguay already waiting in the tunnel. Gustavo Gomez, the formidable captain, leading the way. He played his football in Argentina with Lanús and won the title there back in 2016. Now at Palmeiras, where he's recently lifted the Copa Libertadores. Gustavo Gomez will make life very difficult for Sergio Aguero and co. This evening, as he's proved against almost any attacker in South America, Lionel Messi, as ever, leading out Argentina. As I said before, on a historic night for Lionel Messi. Argentina against Paraguay here in the Copa America. A place in the quarterfinals at stake on the line for the winners. Argentina have rung the changes for tonight. Di Maria, Papu Gomez, Aguero, Paredes, Pacella, Tagliafico all come into the lineup. And it's still a strong team, but a strong team that nonetheless looks to this man for inspiration. We'll have the Paraguayan national anthem. Donde reina unión e igualdad. Unión. 
Argentine national anthem. So we're almost set here in Brasilia. Reminder of those lineups: Emi Martinez in goal for Argentina, Molina, Romero, Pesela, Tagliafico across the back four, Rodriguez, Paredes holding in midfield, Di Maria, Messi, Papu Gomez in support of Sergio Aguero. And for Paraguay, Anthony Silva in goal, Espinola, Gomez, Alonso, Arsemendia, Cubas, Pires de Mota, Romero, Gamarra, Almeron, Angel Romero, and Gabriel Avalos up front. Referee for this evening, Jesus Valenzuela from Venezuela. Experienced referee in South America. Just waiting on our two captains, Lionel Messi and Gustavo Gomez. We'll of course have a minute silence before kickoff, as we've had in all of the Copa America games so far, just for the victims and those fighting against the COVID-19 pandemic. It's still having such an effect on the region. Last huddle, last few words from Gustavo Gomez to his teammates there in red and white before that minute silence. <laughs> Group B action in the 2021 Copa America. Neither side yet to lose. Paraguay, one win. Argentina with one win and a draw. A win for either side tonight. Books their place in the quarterfinals. And Argentina get us underway. Going right to left in their traditional blue and white stripes. Paraguay going left to right in their red and white. 
last time these two sides met was in World Cup qualification in November of last year, ending 1-1 in Buenos Aires. The last two meetings, in fact, have ended 1-1. And as I said before, Paraguay have now managed to avoid defeat in their last four against Argentina, one of their best runs. Here's Di Maria with an early touch over on the far side. Di Maria cutting in on his left, tries to find Messi. Messi takes a touch and almost manages to dissect the two Paraguayan central defenders. Just a slightly too heavy touch runs through to Anthony Silva. And in the first minute, it's Argentina on the front foot and Messi involved. See Messi high up the pitch alongside his old roommate, Sergio Aguero roommates since the Argentine youth teams. And unless Messi has other ideas, teammates next season at Barcelona. Here's Cubas. Nice little layoff from Angel Romero, scored twice against Bolivia. Comes into this one in good form and here's Almiron. Almiron decides to go all the way back to Junior Alonso in Paraguay. Start to build from the back again. Here's Andres Cubas. Junior Alonso. Santiago Arsenendia, who gave away the penalty that gave Bolivia their early lead in Paraguay's only game so far in this Copa America. Something he shares in common with Argentina's left back tonight, Nicolas Tagliafico, back in the lineup for Argentina, having given away that penalty that allowed Chile to equalise in Argentina's opening game. Replaces Marcos Acuna at left back tonight. Pesela, another one of those changes, comes in for Nicolas Otamendi tonight, this evening to partner Christian Romero and Di Maria. Back to Romero. Di Maria looks for the long diagonal in the direction of Messi. Guido Rodriguez, nice little ball around the corner for Di Maria. And he has Noel Molina dashing down the line ahead of him. Decides to go back to Romero instead. Gomez is dropping off there to get the ball and it's a strong challenge from Angel Romero on Nicolas Tagliafico. And early requests for a yellow card from those on the Argentina bench. There's a heavy touch there from Christian Romero and he very nearly gets himself into trouble. Miguel Almiron snapped into the challenge. Romero just did enough to keep possession and sets Argentina off again. Di Maria cuts in. Into the feet of Messi. Messi back to Tagliafico and here's Papu Gomez. Gomez back to Paredes who clips this one towards the back post. Tries to just lay the ball down to Di Maria and it's cleared away. Molina. Di Maria. And again, Di Maria coming inside off that right-hand side. I think we'll see a lot of that from Di Maria when he stays over on that wing. And likewise, Papu Gomez on this near side. Paredes, Messi, one touch into the feet of Di Maria. Di Maria essentially now looking for threading it through to Aguero. Aguero on his 99th appearance for Argentina. It's been a long time coming. Missed a lot of international football, Sergio Aguero, over the last few years. And here he is, pressing and winning the ball back for Argentina. Guido Rodriguez into Papu Gomez. Gomez dashing towards the edge of the box, takes the shots on, and that wasn't a million miles away. Just opened up there for Papu Gomez. 
And it whistles over the top of Anthony Silva's crossbar. There's Eduardo Berisso, the Argentine coach of Paraguay. He will be very relieved to see his side win their opener against Bolivia. It's only his fifth win in 20 matches in charge of Paraguay. And only the second one in a competitive game. So just as the pressure was beginning to ramp up on Berisso, managed to at least pick up victory over on paper what's the weakest team that's going to drop to Aguero Aguero goes towards the box still going Aguero he's been held up and forced to turn back and then he just tries to clip it centrally but it's cut out by Cubas who can set Paraguay away here's Angel Romero Romero heavy first touch and he's run it out of play An opportunity to counter there in behind Nicolas Tagliafico and Romero wastes it just trying to switch the possession there onto the far side and clatters the ball into the face of Jesus Belenzuela, the referee. So it's going to be a drop ball. Tagliafico is a good turn from Aguero. He lays it off here for Gomez. Papu Gomez skips inside the challenge of Espinola, goes back to Aguero and just can't quite bring it under control. It's a really poor header. It's going to drop to Aguero. Aguero on the turn, and it's put it over the crossbar. It's a huge opportunity, thanks to a mix-up at the back from Paraguay. And Sergio Aguero should probably have just given Argentina the lead. Woeful defending. And Aguero just didn't connect with the finish. Pires de Mota climbs above his captain. Heading it back towards his goalkeeper and inadvertently heads it straight to Aguero. Well, no surprise that Sergio Aguero didn't expect to find a chance that easily. But having done so, should probably have just given Argentina the lead after seven minutes. It's a let off for Paraguay. One which defensively they probably won't get away with again. Roman Pacellas just penalised there for a challenge on the back of Gabriel Abelos, just arms around the Paraguayan striker's waist. Abelos, another one who has or is, in his case, playing his football in Argentina, has helped Argentinos juniors through to the knockout stages of this year's Copa Libertadores, the focal point of this Paraguay attack. Free kick, swung into the back post, looking for Gustavo Gomez. But there's been an offside flag. There's Alejandro Dominguez, the president of Conmebol. Molina and uh, Di Maria and here's Messi Messi skips away from Cubas and then puts on the afterburners running forward finds Di Maria Di Maria there's Molina over in the overlap that comes inside Di Maria faints for the shot it's a good pass into Papu Gomez and Papu Gomez clips it over the goalkeeper and Argentina lead brilliantly taken and a wonderful goal from Argentina Terrific pass from Angel Di Maria. And an even better finish from Papu Gomez. And we even got the little Papu dance in celebration. Di Maria faints with the overlap. Looks as though he might shoot. Great disguise on the pass. Terrific run from Papu Gomez. And look at the finish. Delicate as you like. Over. Anthony Silva. And on only his sixth appearance for Argentina, Papu scores his second goal. 
scored on his debut in a 6-0 friendly wing over Singapore back in 2017. But while many people during that time have asked why isn't Papu Gomez given more of a chance given his outstanding form for a number of seasons in Italy with Atalanta. More often than not, if he was selected, he was left on the bench. But he's really taken his chance tonight. Ten minutes gone here in Brasilia. Argentina lead. And Papu Gomez, the man of the moment. And I mentioned that decent recent records for Paraguay that they haven't lost in four against Argentina. Last time Argentina beat Paraguay was in this competition in 2015. 6-1 in the quarterfinals. Di Maria scored two that night. Aguero also on target. Those two both start. But in the Copa America, Argentina have been utterly dominant against Paraguay. They've met 25 times, never lost. Won 19, drawn six. So despite that recent record and the frustration that at times Paraguay have caused, there will be a lot of confidence from Lionel Scaloni and his side that they can secure the three points here and book their place early in the quarterfinals. Di Maria has been very involved early on. It's his 108th appearance for Argentina tonight. Plenty of experience. He's been a sub in the two games before tonight. Gets his first start and was a fine, fine assist. Here's Ankel Romero. He's got Espinola out wide and uses him. And Espinola tries to come inside. Tagliafico wins a free kick. It's a little arm across from Tagliafico. biggest touch in the world but as soon as Espinola saw the arm across was always going to go down. Tagliafico can argue all he wants but any referee in case of Valenzuela's position I think would have given a free kick the same. It's a good opportunity then to put a ball in the box. Gustavo Gomez, Junior Alonso both up there. And Angel Romero will take it either the right foot of Angel Romero, the left foot of Kaku Romero. The two star men from that 3-1 win over Bolivia. Espinola just uh, getting a talking to there for a little shove on Leandro Paredes. And it's Kaku Romero with the free kick. It's headed up into the air and Emi Martinez will come and collect. And he went to try and Release it early, and Gabriel Abelos blocked the kick out of the goalkeeper's hands. Argentina asking for a yellow card against the Paraguay number nine. Just made sure there was going to be no counter. Jesus Valenzuela happy to give the free kick. Doesn't adhere to Argentina's opinion that Avalos should have gone in the book. Regardless, it's been another positive start for Argentina. Now we see whether or not the 1-0 win over Uruguay was a turning of the corner because before that win over Uruguay, Argentina had drawn three, and in all three cases, they'd gone ahead and then really dropped off and invited the pressure. But they're coming forward again here. Aguero trying to get in the box. Aguero takes a touch, and it's a free kick right on the edge of the box. And the yellow card to Gustavo Gomez. And the 
we know what it is who breaks forward for Argentina. Threads that ball in and it is right on the edge. Correct decision, it is outside. One yard outside the penalty box. But an opportunity for Lionel Messi. already seen Messi score one glorious free kick in this Copa America in that 1-1 one -one draw with Chile. And the Argentina captain on his 147th record equaling appearance for Argentina will have the opportunity here to repeat the trick. It's always a difficult one when they're that close to the edge of the box. We're going to see Andres Kubas there, getting low and just ensuring Messi can't shoot low under the wall, but getting it up and over from just on the edge, very difficult to do. Jesus Valenzuela, just make sure the Paraguayan wall is 10 yards back. Here's Andres Kubas, the long barrier in behind that Paraguayan wall. Messi stands over the free kick. Lionel Messi. And it's just wide of the post. Opted for power to the corner that Anthony Silva was protecting. And it just flashes wide. As I said, very, very difficult from there to get it up and over the wall. But not far away for beating Silva with power. We keep seeing the records tumble the longer Lionel Messi plays for club or country. Goes level with Javier Mascherano for appearances tonight for Argentina. It's already the record goal scorer, of course. His goal against Chile took him past Gabriel Batistuta in terms of goals and competitive games for Argentina as well. One of the few remaining is goals in the Copa America, and he's still got some way to go. In fact, we saw Eduardo Vargas scoring for Chile earlier. He's one of those players ahead of Messi. He scored his 14th today. Messi's on 10. Chance for Paraguay into the box. He's going to run through to Emi Martinez. But Messi still some seven goals short of Norberto Mendes's record. The Argentine forward from the 40s, 50s. Truth that may prove one record that may be just too elusive for Lionel Messi as Paraguay have a corner here. 19 minutes in, in Brasilia, Argentina lead by a goal to nil. Angel Romero stands over it. It's headed away to the edge of the box, only as far as Arsemendia, who delivers again and once again headed away. Going to fall to Romero, who can deliver once more. And for the third time, headed away again, this time to Messi. Messi's layoff is a bit short. And it's a strong challenge that wins the ball cleanly for Paraguay. Paraguay can come forward again. And here's Romero. Romero Camaro with a lovely ball into the box. Here's Angel Romero. Tries to get the shots away. There is a shot eventually on the turn. And Argentina managed to hack it clear. Moment of danger there in the Argentina penalty area. And once again, it's just that... Creativity on display from Kaku Romero Gamarra. Lovely disguised pass threaded through for Angel Romero. Oh, 
free kick there. Yeah. Yeah. Robert Perez de Mota into the back of Leandro Perez. Perez de Mota, another one of those, came into the side against Bolivia, really impressed at the base of the midfield. The Paraguay lineup that going into this tournament. There was still plenty of debate over Eduardo Barriso's best lineup and certainly the makeup of that midfield in terms of how to get the balance between still providing that defensive solidity but adding a bit more energy, a bit more creativity that Kaku Romero certainly added. But Pires de Mota was able to still give them the defensive quality that you'd associate with Paraguay. Here's Messi. Lays it off for Leandro Paredes. Ido Rodriguez. Molina. And Papu Gomez now over on the other side. He and Di Maria likely to continue switching sides as the game goes on. And of course, Messi always just drifting, hoping to get on the ball. Another iffy touch from Christian Romero that plays Argentina into danger, but Messi picks up the loose ball. Messi, still Messi, lays the ball off, and here's Papu Gomez to thread it through. It's just cut out, but the referee's going to go back for a free kick on Lionel Messi. Well, this was the challenge from Espinola that we're coming back for. Just tried to trip Messi as he darted away from the initial challenge before Papu Gomez looked for that through ball, looking for Aguero. So instead, Argentina will have a free kick. Leandro Paredes stands over it and just lays it off short. Here's Pesela. And it's a little touch from Nicolas Tagliafico looking for Papu Gomez. Somewhat ambitious. wins that one in the air, but it's going to drop for Pires de Mota. Looks to play that long diagonal. It's well charged down. Pires de Mota had a spell at San Lorenzo before leaving for to Flamengo. And he's crunched into a challenge there. That's a little word in his ear. No more from Jesus Valenzuela. Pesela just caught in between Pires de Motto and Espinola there. Here is Pesela. Looks for the feet of Aguero, but Gustavo Gomez is strong in behind. It's a good challenge from Tagliafico to win the ball, and Aguero's first touch lets him down. It goes out of play while Gustavo Gomez stayed down under that challenge from Tagliafico. Well, it's a very strong challenge from Tagliafico, and he does actually end up landing right on the top of Gustavo Gomez's boot. Not the prettiest challenge. Gustavo Gomez should be okay. Here's Junior Alonso. Knocks the ball down the line looking for Miguel Almiron. Romero Gamara comes very deep and manages to find Avalos's feet, who in turn goes back into the midfield. Franco Romero. Lays it off there for Pires de Mota. Patient stuff, and it's a poor one that Romero Gamara's lucky to get away with. 
Almiron sets off down the left, beats one, still going. He's into the penalty box here to the byline. It's a good ball in from Almiron. And Herman Pesela does very well. Romero crosses. It's gone to the back post. It's going to reach. The shot comes in from Romero Gamara. And then eventually a second volley. This one off target. But it's a good spell from Paraguay. All stemming from that burst down the left from Miguel Almiron. Well, just confirmation of that Argentina free kick earlier. Certainly the challenge from Gustavo Gomez was outside the penalty area. 25 minutes gone and despite trailing, Paraguay have shown a couple of flashes that they still are a real danger. Caco Romero on this near touch line, Almiron on the far side. Not the first time, Aguero's first touch just initially takes him away from Gomez. It's a good covering challenge from Espinola. Almiron on this time. Just shows a little bit too much of the ball for Noel Molino. And now Di Maria goes down. Two coaches have a strong connection with Newell's old boys. Eduardo Barriso, part of a historic Newell's side under Marcelo Bielsa, leaving the club just a couple of years before Lionel Scaloni made his professional debut at Newell's. go back to Emi Martinez who doesn't take any risks in just thumping it downfield looking for Aguero. It's easily defended by Junior Alonso and he in turn fires it all the way back down the other end of the pitch and ending up at Emi Martinez. Martinez tries to clip it out onto the left for Tagliafico and Argentina's left back can't keep that one in. Pires de Mota, Cubas. Semendia into Romero Gamara. Goes for a little one two there with Angel Romero. Can't get the ball back in Argentina. Can try and come forward. Here's Messi under pressure from Junior Alonso. Can't keep hold of it. Pires de Mota. Espinola goes down the line. And gets the return ball. Plenty of space here for Espinola to run into. Can he find a cross? He can. Towards Avalos over his head and put behind for a corner by Noel Molina. It's another well-constructed attack from Paraguay. Not a lot to aim at in the box for Espinola. Avalos, good in the air, does offer that aspect to the Paraguayan attack. But feel as though they need to get a few more options around it. That one's deflected up into the air and headed away by Argentina. Still up in the air. And eventually Paraguay get the ball on the deck and in possession. Romero Gamara looks down the line for Almiron. He's not going to get there. And Noel Molina can hope he can just see this one out. And he does so. not for the first time this evening that we see Messi making that kind of dart forward. It was that run that created the space for Di Maria. And then Di Maria's pass tucked away by Alejandro Gomez. Excellent goal. The difference here in Brasilia. Half an hour gone. Argentina lead by that goal. Guido Rodriguez clips the ball down the line looking for Di Maria. Can't quite beat Junior Alonso to it. Di 
Ali is just going to leave this one for Molina to take. Di Maria, little back heel looking for Molina, and he almost bursts through. It's going to come off the Udinese fullback for a goal kick. A nice attempt, nice little link up play between Di Maria and the new Argentina right back. Come into the side, replacing Gonzalo Montiel of River Plate for the last, for this and the game before. It's one of those positions on the pitch that really, since the retirement of Pablo Zabaleta, has been up in the air for Argentina. Aguero, Messi, crunched by two, and Junior Alonso can bring it away. It's a nice turn by Almiron. Skips away from Molina, and Almiron's still going. Almiron goes towards the edge of the box. It's a good sliding recovery challenge. Argentina allow this one to be picked up by Emi Martinez in the box. But Almiron's pace, as it has been before against Argentina, already looking a danger. Messi for Di Maria. Di Maria looking for that little ball into the box for Aguero, Gustavo Gomez steps across and clears. Cubas goes direct, looking for that run of Angel Romero. Emi Martinez quickly off his line to clear. And with the help of Junior Alonso, all the way through to Anthony Silva. Alonso recently had a spell at Boca Juniors. And Almiron again tries to just leave a little dummy. Clearly fancies himself up against Noel Molina. No doubting the quality of Miguel Almiron. But there's some that maybe would like to see a little bit more from him in a Paraguay shirt in terms of end product. Just the two goals his international career to date for Miguel Almiron. Both coming in friendlies as well. This could break nicely for Avalos. It's a really strong challenge. It's going to be an advantage played here. Paraguay come forward, looking to thread the ball through for Angel Romero. And Paraguay asking, let's go back. There was no advantage. Let's have the free kick, as he did for Argentina. Here's the swell and Suela. Obviously felt as though they did have the enough advantage. And it didn't work out. Argentina will stop here. Leandro Paredes will get a yellow card for the challenge. And Gabriel Avalos is still down. No questions, really, about that one. It's a poor challenge from Leandro Paredes. He missed the 1-0 win over Uruguay. Picked up a bit of a knock in training and wasn't risked in the last game. It was the first game he's missed in the Lionel Scaloni era. Has been Scaloni's preferred option at the base of the Argentina midfield. And Guido Rodriguez came into the side, and not just because of his goal. The winning goal against Uruguay performed very, very well in terms of his ball winning abilities and just keeping possession been rewarded by keeping his place tonight with Rodrigo de Paul rested. Pillars them off there, just leaves it for Kaku. Junior Alonso looking for Almiron. Almiron can't keep that one in play. It's becoming a bit of a battle over on that left-hand side. Almiron up against the inexperienced Noel Molina. Only Molina's fourth appearance for Argentina. Just made his debut in the round of World Cup qualifying a week or so before the start of the Copa America. So too did 
centre back Christian Romero, who's now being heralded as something of a saviour to the Argentinian back line, such as been their defensive problems in recent times. Cubas. Asamendia. Cubas and Asamendia, two of those players born in Argentina. Two Paraguayan parents. Cubas. A nice ball out wide from Alejandro Romero Gamara, another one of those Argentine youth products. Almiron goes again on the outside. This time Molina stays with him, and Almiron sports backwards. Space here for Kaku. Kaku looking for options. Just conservatively plays it backwards to Pires de Mota, who works it out onto this right-hand side for Espinola. Espinola tries to find the feet of Abelos. He's wrestled off the ball by Christian Romero. And it's a nice turn for Papu Gomez. Gomez now trying to bring Argentina forward and just has the ball pinched off him by Robert Pires de Mota. Nice feet there from Kaku. Once again, looking to be the creative hub for Paraguay. Switches it out onto the left for Almiron. This time he's got support on the overlap from Arsenendia. But forced to be a little safer and go back to Andres Cubas. Well, despite going behind early, Paraguay will certainly feel they're well in this one. Seeing plenty of the ball. And although yet to really work Emiliano Martinez in the Argentina goal, they've had their moments around the penalty area. Here's Messi on one of those runs again. He's got Aguero with him, and only Aguero with him, but Messi's still going. Eventually, a strong challenge comes in from Gustavo Gomez. It's a fair one. And the Paraguay captain helps Messi to his feet. Needed to get Papu Gomez and Di Maria up in support a bit quicker there. Little touch around the corner from Kaku, intercepted by Aguero momentarily. Paraguay back in possession. Angel Romero. Looking for options. With a great deal on for Paraguay. They have to just be content with keeping the ball for now. Arsamendia. Looking for Almiron. It's been deflected off Di Maria for a throw. Despite trailing, Eduardo Berisso will be fairly satisfied with what he's seen so far from his team. Angel Romero. And Paraguay just edged their way down. The left-hand side, they take that throw quickly. It's into the feet of Almiron. It's a little bit congested, but they've done well to work this one into a bit of space. Kaku goes towards the byline, crosses, and he and Almiron just get in each other's way a little bit there. Either way, it's put behind for a corner. And Paraguay enjoying a nice little spell of pressure here. to take it and headed away by Pesela to the edge of the box Papu Gomez picks up the loose ball and finds Di Maria who might be able to lead Argentina onto a counter Di Maria still he's over halfway and Di Maria is still going here and eventually he's brought down by Junior Alonso well say what you will about Angel Di Maria but he's still very effective on the counter attack Lightning quick on the ball. And when he's got a bit of space to run into, it can still be lethal. Junior Alonso knows that and just ensured he brought him down. Five minutes before half time, Argentina lead Paraguay by a goal to nil.
Messi stands over the free kick. Opts to go square to Di Maria who delivers. It's headed up into the air by Angel Romero, headed on by Herman Pestela. And straight into the hands of Anthony Silva. Andres Cubas to Pires de Mota. Spinola. Noel Molina does just enough there to keep that one for rolling through behind him for Almiron. Argentina march forward again through Guido Rodriguez. He just lays it off to Messi. Argentina have just dropped off a bit since their goal, but Messi charges forward here. Lays it into Aguero. Aguero back to Messi. Messi can't quite bring it under control and Paraguay will do enough just to shield him from the ball and it will roll through to the goalkeeper. But other than those little bursts, every now and again from Messi, Argentina have dropped off since taking the lead. Allowed Paraguay to see plenty of the ball. said before it's been a feature of Argentina's game recently under Lionel Scaloni one which the coach was forced to address before the game against Uruguay he was stating that his team are not going out of their way once they take the lead to sit back they're still gonna go and push on even when they lead in games to try and find more goals they weren't able to find another goal against Uruguay, but fairly comfortably were able to see out that victory. And admittedly, Uruguay not in their best moment. They've really struggled for goals of late. Managed to come back and find one this evening, though, to get that draw against Chile. Here's Guido Rodriguez. I fancy a shot from here. It's charged down by Andres Cubas. And Almiron can bring it away. It's a good turn from Almiron and looks to accelerate away and he's just been blocked off there by Noel Molina. And in a similar way to Di Maria, Almiron has that real quality once he gets up and running with the ball. Picks up a tremendous speed and is very difficult to stop on the counter. And that's why he's been so important to Paraguay. We approach half-time. Paraguay have a free kick. Maybe one last chance to clip one into the penalty area. He's headed away again. And Gustavo Gomez gives away a free kick. And just after doing so, got absolutely clattered by Gustavo Gomez. Maybe a little bit of retribution for that hefty challenge from Argentina's fullback earlier in the game. Hits that free kick. Long looking for Aguero. Aguero's not going to get much in the air against either Gomez or Alonso, you feel. And we'll just have the one additional minute that we're into already here in Brasilia. <laughs> Fico throws the ball down the line looking for Aguero. Here's Leandro Paredes who switches the ball out wide onto that far side. Plenty of space for Di Maria here. 
Di Maria again has got the overlap. Or can come inside. He does come inside. Takes the shot. It's saved. Ball comes back out to praise. Papu Gomez delivers the cross, and it's going to be a, it's an own goal. Argentina double their lead just before the break. But it won't count. There's been a flag. A rather late flag, admittedly. And we will, of course, have that checked by the officials. Papu Gomez, it was who crossed. I think it was Messi that lunged in front, just in front of Junior Alonso. As a result, inadvertently put the ball into his own net. We'll just see if there was an offside here. Jesus Valenzuela still getting confirmation of that. The last action of this first half, and what a big moment. 1 0 at the break, Paraguay very much in it, 2 0 down, and it's a long, long way back. Take a look at the replay again, but we have our decision. And it was indeed an offside. So it remains 1 0, a let off for Paraguay. And an offside there. But a big talking point, a marginal offside. I think it was as the initial shot from Di Maria came in rather than when the cross came in, but that will be it for the first half. It's Argentina 1. Paraguay nil, not Argentina two, Paraguay nil because of that disallowed goal for offside. But Papu Gomez has scored the only goal of the game, a wonderfully worked goal, latching on to a through ball from Angel Di Maria to finish expertly. And that's the difference in an otherwise fairly balanced opening 45 minutes here in Brasilia. Paraguay will feel they've shown enough to get back into this one. Argentina, as Kaku gets Messi's shirt at half-time, Argentina will feel they certainly have enough to just go up another gear and see this one out. We've got an intriguing 45 minutes still to come, and we'll be back after the break with that.
Well, welcome back to Brasilia. And if you're just joining us, Argentina lead Paraguay by a goal to nil here in Group B in the 2021 Copa America. Papu Gomez with the only goal of the game so far. This was the big talking point just before half time. Disallowed goal for Argentina. And it was just as you saw there from the lines they drew in, the initial play as this shot comes in from Di Maria. Messi adjudged to be blocking the view of goalkeeper Anthony Silva from a very tight offside position. No offside here as Junior Alonso puts the ball into his own net. But just in that play beforehand, Messi adjudged to be a fraction offside. And really, it keeping this one alive because you feel it 2-0 could have been curtains for Paraguay. But they've shown enough, even without testing Emi Martinez in the Argentina goal, that they can still pose some problems. Almiron at times with his pace down the left. And little flashes, nice little touches from Alejandro Romero Gamara. Have just shown that Paraguay still have some tools there to cause problems. And they get us back underway. So the Alri Roja looking to turn this one around and stretch their run to five without defeat against Argentina. Who knows if they can get more than one, they may be able to win their first ever game in the Copa America against Argentina. That tally currently up to 25 games without a win. Here's Aguero early on who missed the chance very early after an error and otherwise hasn't shown a huge amount on what's a good opportunity for Aguero to try and prove to Lionel Scaloni that he should be the man who starts at the point of the Argentina attack above Lautaro Martinez. Junior Alonso goes back to Anthony Silva, who will be very relieved with that VAR decision later on. And Argentina come forward early. Aguero can't quite get down under control. Here's Kaku, who's come deep to try and instigate something. Has been a lack of vibrancy in that. Paraguay midfield at times, Kubas and Fides de Mota doing their job defensively, but just struggling then to push the side forward. Mr. Romero there comes across and does his job for Argentina, clears down the line. And that's going to drop for Almiron. Almiron finds Angel Romero in a little bit of space. Back into Kaku. Paraguay stay out on this wing and work it well into Almiron. Almiron's only got Avalos in the box but goes short instead. Shot comes in for Marce Mendia and it's blocked and put behind for a corner. Corner's taken quickly and short to Kaku. Tries to get away and Aguero sticks the boot in and Di Maria brings Argentina forward. Well, there's a couple of fouls I think the referee could have called for there as Paraguay looked to stop that counter attack and eventually pulls it back for a little shove on Lionel Messi. No changes from either coach at the break. Maria back to Messi. Here's Leandro Paredes. There was a lot of talk in the build up to this one that Scaloni was going to rest Lionel Messi after the pair had a conversation at the hotel yesterday. Plenty of speculation that they were going to rest Messi for this one ahead of the final group game and then saving him for the latter stages, but the captain starts. Again, just wonder whether we'll see out the 90 in that case. Here's Aguero. Just very much trying to play his way back to fitness. Finds Messi. Messi advances towards the box. It's just a heavy touch, but drops to Di Maria. Di Maria. He's got two with him as he tries to wriggle away and then wins a free kick. 
careless defending from Paraguay as they were shepherding Di Maria away from danger. But I think it's Andres Cubas eventually sticks the boots in and trips Di Maria. and Paredes stand over the free kick. <laughs> Jesus Valenzuela just brings that two-man wall back. It's taken short to Messi. Here's Messi advancing towards the edge of the box. Looks to clip it now. Goes in towards the back post. It's headed towards the edge of the box. Messi tries to keep it alive, but eventually Paraguay clear Kel Romero for a moment looked as though he was going to dash away clear. Di Maria. Tagliafico. And here's Papu Gomez. Tries to find Aguero and Aguero is able to pick it up because of a poor pass out from Gustavo Gomez. Here's Messi. Back to Paredes. And into Di Maria who turns initially and then again is crowded out by two and Di Maria does really well to win the ball back. Molina, Messi, Messi cutting inside onto his left, tries to lay it off to Di Maria, it's cut out by Cubas. And now Miron can try and bring it forward and only again run into danger. Molina. Five minutes into the second half, Argentina showing a little more urgency than they did as the first half went on certainly decided to whether or not it was by design or not started dropping back and allowing Paraguay to see plenty of possession just seemed to have upped the tempo again since the break Di Maria leaves that one rolls through to Aguero who now finds Di Maria Di Maria been one of the better Argentina players this evening at Di Maria, despite all his critics. Here's Almiron. Almiron tries to come inside Christian Romero. Eventually, Noel Molina recovers, goes back to Emi Martinez, and he clips the ball neatly into Leandro Paredes. A little back heel to Molina. And that will be a free kick on Guido Rodriguez. Christian Romero has certainly been instrumental in defensive improvements for Argentina, but in the case of the 1-0 one, one win over Uruguay, so too was Guido Rodriguez at the base of the midfield. And as I said, when talking about that game earlier, Argentina were pretty comfortable in seeing out that 1-0 win. Comfortably holding clean sheets is maybe not something you'd associate with Argentina. so far this evening once again they've managed to limit Paraguay to very little Mendia waiting on this throw eventually tries to throw it in field but Argentina can pick up the loose ball Aguero can't quite turn away from Espinola how Aguero would love to add his 42nd international goal this evening after an absence that's seen him out since November 2019 a chance for it Paraguay down the left again. Molina does well on this occasion and clears. And here's Messi. Junior Alonso eventually opts to bring Messi to ground.
Kohli on this occasion can't get the better of us in India. Yes, Mendia clips it down the line looking for Avalos who's had very little to go on. Avalos good in the air but it's going to get very little if the service isn't there. And also Romero and Pesela, two central defenders themselves were good aerially. Just wonder whether at some point we will see some changes from Eduardo Barisa to change it up because we saw against Bolivia until the second half Paraguay had struggled to find a way through and it took a fantastic strike from Kaku to break that deadlock get the equaliser and then the introduction of Carlos Gonzalez just to give another option inside the penalty box really paid dividends we wonder whether Tigres striker Gonzalez will make an introduction soon rather than later just to give Christian Romero and Herman Pesela to something else to think about. Ten minutes gone in the second half. Still 1-0. Paraguay yet to test Emi Martinez, but they have a corner. Kaku plays it short, little back heel back into Kaku. And the cross comes in from a better angle. It's going to drift all the way through. But the referees decided it took a little touch. Going to be a corner on the other side for Paraguay. Oh, it didn't seem to take a touch there. I'm not sure whether it took a flick off Aguero when the cross first came in. Certainly, Christian Romero and Nicolas Tagliafico seemed innocent enough there. The corner from the other side, headed away by Leandro Paredes, behind for another corner. Third one in a row. And it's taken very quickly. Here's Almiron breaking into the box. Almiron crosses to the back post, tried to keep it alive. Junior Alonso, and it's going to be hard for a fourth corner. Good spell of pressure this from Paraguay. Can they make it count? Can they find an equaliser? Again, it's taken. Relatively short into the box, lofted up towards Junior Alonso. Emi Martinez comes to claim it. And eventually, a free kick's being given against Espinola. Emi Martinez just trying to claim it from above the fullback. And Espinola has been penalised just for backing into the goalkeeper. Didn't do a huge amount wrong, in truth. Clearly, was going for the ball. Free kick just allows Argentina to breathe after that spell of pressure. Messi Mendia goes back to Anthony Silva. Di Maria presses him and forces him to take evasive action. Gustavo Gomez feeds it into the midfield for Kubas and Kubas gets clattered there by Guido Rodriguez. And we're going to have our first change from Argentina and it's going to be Sergio Aguero who goes off. So he won't be scoring his 42nd goal on his 99th appearance for Argentina. The end of a frustrating evening for Sergio Aguero, but one which presumably just edges him closer to 100% fitness, which by Lionel Scaloni's admittance when they first started this camp for the Copa America, Aguero wasn't quite there. But instead, it's another opportunity for Joaquin Correa. Came on as a sub against Uruguay. Didn't have too much to go on, in truth, the Lazio forward but we'll bring a little bit more mobility than Aguero and we'll be able to run into those wide channels <laughs> now 
Almiron. Almiron once again trying to find a way down that left and he wins a free kick. Well, it looked as though Almiron had just run into traffic there. But just managed to get a poke, little toe poke to it ahead of Guido Rodriguez to win that free kick. And it's a free kick in a decent position for Paraguay. kick given away by Argentina in comparison with the 17 given away by Paraguay in an hour. Just goes to show what Paraguay have had to do to try and stop Messi and Di Maria and Papu from getting away. Free kick comes in and it's an easy one for Emi Martinez. You can see what Angel Romero was trying to do, whip it in towards that far corner but didn't quite get the power needed on it. Emi Martinez was able to watch it all the way, get both hands on it and make the claim. Romero clips it in the direction of Joaquin Correa. Kaku into Avalos, who lays it off to Almiron. Almiron again will take on. Molina and gets into the box. It's a good recovery challenge from the Argentina fullback, and he wins a goal kick from Almiron. Well, Almiron's pace has been a problem for the Udinese fullback, but on this occasion, Noel Molina does very well to go with him and make that tackle inside the penalty box. Still a nutmeg earlier by Santiago Asamendia. Tagliafico, his opposite number comes down the opposite flank. Tagliafico still going. Manages to find Papu Gomez in the end, and Gomez just held up. Has to settle for a throw. I haven't seen too much of Papu Gomez since his goal, in truth. There he is again, and just can't bring that one under control. Little layoff from Joaquin Correa. Some India takes the throw quickly, goes backwards, and here's Andres Cubas. Is the motor. Kaku, who's the man tasked with coming short in between Kubas and Pires de Mota to try and get things going for Paraguay. Hasn't been able to do so so far. It's a nice little turn from Papu Gomez. Goes back to Pesela and Tagliafico goes all the way back to Martinez. Romero takes a risk with the pass and Pizella takes a risk with the clearance. Ricochet is off a Paraguay player and gratefully for Argentina Ricochet is off into the midfield area rather than back towards their own goal. Here's Avalos. It's a strong challenge from Romero. And it's a throw to Argentina. Christian Romero. Maybe at times this evening it's just a couple of occasions, looked a little uncertain on the ball, but still assured in the tackle as Paraguay looked to make their first changes. In the meantime, Argentina come forward with Noel Molina. It's a good recovery challenge there. But Argentina still in possession with Di Maria. Di Maria back to Messi. Messi works it to Paredes in the midfield, who spreads it onto the far side with Papu Gomez in space. Papu comes inside. Still coming, Gomez. Still going, lays it off to Messi. Receives the ball back again and then works it to Di Maria. Di Maria comes inside onto his left. Goes back to Papu Gomez. And here into Molina. And the move very much lost its momentum as Argentina falls all the way back into their own half with Christian Romero. They start again then with Leandro Paredes. 
little flip from Di Maria who gets the ball back. Di Maria works it into the space for Tagliafico. Di Maria, Messi, Guido Rodriguez, Papu Gomez in Argentina just playing keep ball now. Long passage of passing here from Argentina. Pacella marches out and it comes to an end as the centre back tries to find a ball down the left for Tagliafico. And with the ball out of play, it gives Paraguay the opportunity to make those changes. Oscar Romero, brother of Angel. Kaku. One of those coming off for Oscar Romero. Andres Cubas. The other one in midfield coming off Angel Cardoso Lucena. And also Lucena just hopefully bring a little bit more energy to that central midfield for Paraguay. Plays his football in Paraguay for Cerro Porteño. And this is seventh appearance for the national team. Almedon. This time he's got Romero with him. He goes backwards. Here's Cardoso, the substitute, tries to lay off. Argentina more so far to what Paraguay have had to offer in attack. Lucena now, as you can see, just dropping in there, trying to get the ball off the centre-backs. Here he is again, quickly back to Junior Alonso and then looking for the return. He and Pires de Mota now, the two sitting. Helmet on. He'll again go on the outside. Argentina double up at him and Guido Rodriguez puts the ball out. Messi tries to just flick a header in behind for Joaquin Correa and Argentina again. Go back into something that we saw in the first half, just dropping back, allowing Paraguay that possession and then looking to play on the counter. that runs the risk of course of the criticism that comes their way if Paraguay were to find an equaliser Eduardo Barriso's side haven't looked too likely to do that just yet but there's still plenty of time remaining they can't find the ball into the box on this occasion they do it the second time of asking Alonso's up Heads it towards the goal, and there's going to be a free kick there. Gustavo Gomez just helping Christian Romero out of the way in midair. And Romero's going to stay down here. Yeah, it's a poor one from Gomez. Just gives him that arm into the back as he's in mid flight. Romero very much brought back from injury ahead of schedule by Argentina. Picked up an injury against Colombia in the World Cup qualifier a week before the tournament. And it was rumoured that he was going to miss maybe Argentina's first few games, but hopefully be back for this one. But instead started against Uruguay, still in the team tonight. 
hasn't shown any signs of that injury picked up against Colombia so far. Di Maria, the latest player on the turf in pain, and Argentina maybe look to their bench again. 20 minutes remaining. And there are changes coming for the Alba Celeste. So far, just the one. Joaquin Correa replacing Sergio Aguero up front. Messi thought about taking that free kick quickly, dropping it into Di Maria. Decided against it. And Messi gives the ball away. Here's Almiron again. And Almiron wants more. Gets on his bike and wins a free kick. Well, they might not be too much sophisticated about what Almiron tries to do in a Paraguay shirt, but he has been their best outlet this evening. As soon as he gets the ball, he's always positive, looking for that forward run, looking to take on the fullback. Paraguay maybe just need a little bit more than that for these final 20 minutes. Oscar Romero, one of those substitutes that just came on, may be able to present that. And Angel Romero is going to intercept that pass from Pesela. Here is Romero. Pesela holds him up on that far side, and Angel Romero lays it off. It's a good ball. We could find a cross. It's not going to reach anyone in the box. It's going to sail all the way through, and Almiron will keep it on the far side. Almiron up against Molina again. Gets support from Di Maria in the end and goes backwards. There's a little ball into the box, and it's going to be worked to Almiron again, who could find a cross on this occasion. Ox against it. Instead, drops the ball back for Asimendia. And it's a wayward pass that gifts the ball back to Argentina. Another wasted opportunity for Paraguay. As we get a second change for Argentina. And Papu Gomez is replaced by Rodrigo de Paul. And Rodrigo de Paul. <laughs> Certainly creative player. You only have to look at his statistics for Udinese this season. Nine goals, 11 assists for Udinese, which is why the intense speculation links him with a big money move to Atletico Madrid this summer. But he's also going to slot into that central midfield and probably do a little bit more defensively than Papu Gomez would. Romero spreads it to Arsimendia who looks for Almiron. Almiron tries to come inside, runs into trouble. It looks as though he were giving away a free kick on Rodrigo de Paul. Nothing given and Paraguay still have it. Here's Oscar Romero. Fires it out onto that far side. Oscar Romero again finds Almiron, Oscar Romero just finding his range with those passes and Almiron tries to cross again. Noel Molina does well to put it behind for a corner. Well, Argentina haven't offered a great deal in the last 15 to 20 minutes in truth. Paraguay enjoying long spells of possession without creating clear chances. Another cross blocked. Throw taken quickly, another opportunity to potentially get the ball in. Oscar Romero. That one short, and it's going to be a free kick given away by Asamendia. Well, Joaquin Correa was the man that replaced Aguero. But just was the case against Uruguay when Correa came on fairly late. So the stage of the game where Argentina first and foremost are looking just to see this one out. He's not getting too much to work with up there. There he is battling away, making sure Argentina keep the ball. But 
Joaquin Correa would love the opportunity to add to his two goals for the national team. Paredes just hangs on to the ball there and gets himself into trouble. Paraguay nick it and here's Almiron. Centrally now, works the ball out onto the left for Arsemendia. Arsemendia now is going to have a run at Molina. Molina holds him up. Arsemendia is forced backwards and then infield. Oscar Romero. Cardoso. Over there to Spinola. Spinola manages to keep it in play, but Paraguay needs to show a little bit more urgency here. It's all very well having all this possession, which they've had for a long period of the game. But they're yet to really do much with it. And on this occasion, they win a free kick in a very good position. Jesus Valenzuela, the referee, had a long look at it. Looked as though he was going to allow play to go on. And then blew his whistle. Gabriel Avilos. Looked like he made the most of that from the initial replay. Christian Romero, the man a judge to have just given his shirt a little tug as he tried to turn. But either way, it's given Paraguay a terrific opportunity. 15 minutes remain, and they've got a free kick. Perfect distance. The Romero brothers, Miguel Almiron, Santiago Asemendia. Angel Cardoso, Lucena as well standing there. There's some good options in this Paraguayan side to take a free kick. And as Emi Martinez prepares his wall, Leandro Paredes takes up position behind. Paredes with the unenviable job of lying on the ground, just ensuring the ball doesn't come underneath. It's going to be Angel Romero. We've seen him score a couple like this for San Lorenzo in Argentina. Can he do it here? Romero into the wall. And Tagliafico heads it away. Can Di Maria break now? He keeps it in play. But he runs into two Paraguayan shirts and Paraguay win it back. Well, Argentina escaped that free kick, but can they escape another Paraguay attack? The Albi Roca come forward again. Angel Cardoso switches it out onto the far side once more. Another cross is going to come in towards Avalos, and this one almost found Almiron at the back post. His shot comes all the way across. Romero makes the block, and the pressure is really mounting now. It's all Paraguay. Oscar Romero just looks to give a little nutmeg to Messi. Messi wins the possession. And Messi brings it out. Messi, De Paul, and Messi. He's going to win a free kick. Well, the momentum well and truly with Paraguay. Christian Romero and the Argentina defence being put to the test once again. Strong challenge from Carlos Lucena on Messi. It's one of those recent substitutes for Paraguay. Here's Di Maria. Cutting again onto his left. Still Di Maria works it to the edge of the box for Messi. Messi thought about the shot, then took an extra touch and has the ball pinched off his toes. Still with Messi though. And again, tackle. Argentina still have it, but they've given it away cheaply, and here's Abelos. Great tackle from Pesela. Oscar Romero. Almiron. Still Almiron. Looking for options, goes infield and then receives the ball back. Almiron trying to work it into that tight space with Santiago Arsenendia. Asking a lot between the two of them to try and outfox the three Argentina players that had swarmed around them. And we will now see 
as I said, just after half time. Well, we'll see a double change as well for Argentina. Angel Correa and Nico Dominguez being ready to come on. Leandro Paredes, who's on a yellow card, is going to be replaced by Nicolas Dominguez. His first appearance at the Copa America. And Angel Di Maria will be replaced by Angel Correa. also make his first appearance at this year's Copa America 14th appearance for the national team for Correa He's made his debut all the way back under Tata Martino in 2015 but after an excellent season that saw Atletico Madrid win La Liga Angel Correa is back in the mix Dominguez presumably first and foremost will be looking to carry out defensive duties in midfield but he's a midfield player who can certainly get forward and add to the attack he was outstanding under Gabriel Einstein at Vélez Sarsfield before earning his move to Bologna in Italy Paraguay with nine minutes of normal time remaining bring off Robert Perez de Mota and bring on Richard Sanchez Sanchez far more of a box-to-box -box figure than Perez de Mota will hopefully for the final stages for Paraguay just give them that extra drive from midfield plays for Club America in Mexico Shot from distance, and it's an easy one for Anthony Silva. Anthony Silva again. Paraguay running out of time here. They need to start showing a little bit more urgency to get the ball forward. We only saw one of those changes, Richard Sanchez coming on. Carlos Gonzalez looked as though he was going to be coming on at the same time, but the striker yet to appear. All the talk of Lionel Messi being rested, 83rd minute, and Argentina's captain still on the pitch. Now the most forward player, Joaquin Correa, has dropped back in helping out with the midfield role while Messi plays as the more advanced striker. It's all hands on deck for Argentina as they look to see out another 1 0 win and with it, book their place in the Copa America quarterfinals. It's a good ball forward into Oscar Romero. Once again, Oscar Romero looks for that ball out to Almiron, which we've seen him hit on a number of occasions since coming on. And this time he overhits it. Well, it's not been a performance so far that will send shockwaves through South America and certainly have anyone believe that Argentina are a major threat to Brazil who are certainly the firm favourites in the Copa America but make no mistake Lionel Scaloni and his squad are here with aspirations of winning a 15th Copa America 
the drought for a major title since lifting the 1993 copper weighs heavy and having been beaten in the final of this competition in four of the last six copper americas it's a run that Lionel Messi and this squad would love to end they remain big underdogs against the Brazil team that looked formidable Still, Paraguay looking the stronger side and searching for that equaliser. Almiron's trying to wriggle away from three players and can't do so. Messi finds Correa. And Argentina can enjoy a little spell of possession and look to come forward. They're not exactly breaking a neck to try and get players forward. Here's Messi. And Messi can't thread this one through for Angel Correa. Correa wins the ball back fairly, despite the protests of Paraguay. Argentina will just look to hang on to this for as long as possible. Correa can't skip away from a challenge there. There's no free kick given on this occasion the other way, and Paraguay can bring forward. A little bit of space for Oscar Romero can't get away from the initial challenge. Guido Rodriguez, safety first, goes back to Emiliano Martinez, who swings it out onto the far side for Nico Tagliafico. Nico Dominguez. Tagliafico advances into the Paraguay half and Tagliafico still going here. Still Tagliafico threads the ball through to Joaquin Correa. Correa. Correa looks for the ball back to Tagliafico and it's bit behind for a corner. Good defending from Santiago Asamendia on a rare break forward from Argentina. And Tagliafico all the way up from fullback was the man looking to get on the end of the cross. Vital interception from Asamendia as they do finally make that substitution with Carlos Gonzalez coming on. So to Brian Samudio. Avalos makes way for Carlos Gonzalez. Angel Romero off for Samudio. Three minutes of normal time remain. Paraguay have a corner to defend. Argentina take it short, more than happy just to run down the clock rather than look for a second. Messi goes back to De Paul. De Paul into Joaquin Correa, who looks to turn but has the ball picked off him. Paraguay down in their own corner, just trying to get the ball out. Managed to do so in a slightly unorthodox fashion, but it's worked and they get away on the far side. Junior Alonso, not the best pass in the world, but it's going to go all the way back to Anthony Silver in goal. And it's Oscar Romero. Almiron. Almiron to Arsemendia. Arsemendia crosses towards the back post. Samudio will be able to keep it alive. Toluca forwards has just come onto the pitch. Trying to feed the ball there into the other substitute, Carlos Gonzalez. And Gonzalez is coming all the way back to win the ball and does so from Rodrigo de Paul. Almiron spins away from a couple of challenges and drives towards the byline again. Low cross, it's not going to find Gonzalez and Emi Martinez will dive down onto the ball and take his time in getting back to his feet. One minute of normal time remains. Argentina look to see out another 1-0 win. Still Paraguay downfield in the direction of Angel Correa he can't make it stick but it's dropped down into the midfield Messi Nico Dominguez 
And Argentina just keep the ball. Rodrigo the ball finds Molina. Molina thought about racing down the right, instead just drops it into Messi, and Messi loses out. Paraguay can come back the other way. Rodrigo the ball makes the little tactical foul there on Miguel Almiron. Seen quite enough of the Newcastle midfield player tearing away down that left, and Molina was out of position. The fourth official has his electronic board ready to display how much stoppage time we'll have here in Brasilia. We'll have four minutes. Paraguay have four minutes to find an equaliser here. It's a nice little ball forward, a bit of space for Almiron. Almiron shoots, blocked by Romero. Only as far as Oscar Romero. Richard Sanchez. Lucena. Here's Cardoso Lucena again. Oscar Romero clips the ball forward for Gonzalez. Gonzalez gets the header down. Molina makes the clearance. And it's a poor ball out from Rodrigo de Paul. Immediately gives the ball back to Paraguay. They come forward once more. Another cross into the box. And it's a very, very poor ball. The spinola looking for the substitute Gonzalez as we take a look back at the decisive moment in this one Angel Di Maria the architect Papu Gomez the scorer and that is the difference this was the controversial moment just before the break Argentina's second eventually put in by Junior Alonso an own goal but chalked off for an offside in the build-up. Here's Messi. Messi into Angel Correa and gets the ball back. Messi still, still Messi. Three around him, lays it off to Nicolas Dominguez. And Dominguez switches it out onto the near side. And Molina in acres of space finds the ball. The two of them in no rush to look for the Paraguay penalty. Aaron DePaul instead will go towards the byline and win a free kick. Well, DePaul and Molina did a terrific job of doing this against Uruguay late on. Taking it towards the corner, winning free kicks and successfully running down the clock. And it looks as though they're going to do the same again here. We've had two minutes of the added four here in Brasilia. No rush to take the corner and I don't think we'll probably see it come into the box. There's only two Argentina shirts in the box. One of them's Angel Correa you wouldn't really associate with attacking a set piece anyway it's taken short to Messi Messi just drops it in to Correa who looks for a free kick and gets it Paraguay fall into the same trap that Uruguay did eating into their own stoppage time here as Argentina successfully for the time being hold on to their lead Once again, Rodrigo de Paul and Messi stand over the free kick. This one closer to the edge of the penalty box. Will it be delivered towards Joaquin Correa and Angel Correa? Probably not. 45 seconds of the allotted four remain. Still just those two to aim at in the box. Messi standing over it. Messi is going to take it, goes for goal, whips it in towards goalkeeper Anthony Silvery, punches clear. But the ball finds its way out to Nicolas Tagliafico. And it's going to be a throw to Argentina. Well, Scaloni's boys successfully seeing out this stoppage time period so far. Just trapping the ball in the Paraguay half. Tagliafico down the line. Joaquin Correa wins a corner. We've had our four minutes here in Brasilia. All eyes now on Jesus Valenzuela and his full time whistle. Rodrigo de Paul. 
saunters over to the far side to take this one. And he plays it short to Messi. Messi runs out of space, gives away a throw. We've had well over the four minutes. Is there going to be enough added for Paraguay to come forward? No, there isn't. It's all over here in Brasilia, and it ends Argentina 1, Paraguay 0. Argentina go top of Group B thanks to Alejandro Gomez's first half goal. And with a game to spare for the Alba Celeste, they'll be in the quarterfinals. Paraguay still have two games to play and having already picked up three points from their earlier game against Bolivia, it's still well placed to progress. Plenty of action still to come in the group phase of the Copa America. Back on Wednesday for Group B action. Ecuador against Peru and Brazil against Colombia. And then Argentina sit out round four in Group A. Bolivia take on Uruguay and Paraguay play Chile. Plenty still to play for. Job done for Argentina, even if it wasn't the most convincing. But they'll be more than satisfied with the three points and their progression in the Copa America. We'll be back very soon. Thank you very much for watching this evening and good night.